But first, a twist in a new and exclusive presidential poll who Michigan voters feel is best for our country might surprise you. That story tops our news at 11 tonight, and we are just six months away from picking our next president. Well, it's getting exciting now. Michigan traditionally leans Democrat, but a new poll shows, shows that might not be the case depending upon the choices in November. Voters also have strong views on the direction our state is headed. Devin Skillion is live on Mackinac Island, where all the movers yeah. and shakers in Michigan are gathering this week. And Devin, some surprising results yeah. in this poll. They sure are, Kimberly and Steve. A lot for people here to chew on. This conference gets underway tomorrow, really, in earnest. It is almost by definition a gathering of political junkies. They're already talking a lot tonight about this extraordinary presidential race we're watching, and our numbers will have uh, even more fodder for talk and thought tomorrow. Our exclusive WDIV Detroit News poll shows a pretty tight race among the two presumed nominees, but our numbers will do nothing to chase Bernie Sanders out of this race. Bernie Sanders won the Michigan primary, and while his chances at the nomination have waned, his popularity is not. Right now among Michigan voters, Hillary Clinton leads Donald Trump by 5%. If somehow Sanders were to be the nominee, he leads Donald Trump by 19% of the vote. He's the guy who has, he hasn't had trust issues, he hasn't lied to the American people, um, he doesn't get up on stage and make fantastical statements. I mean, it seems odd to say, but he's the most normal of the three candidates. <laughs> We're seeing levels of uh, uh, unlikability that frankly we haven't seen before. The Clinton-Trump race may be good for headlines, but it's a turnoff for voters. Both candidates have negative ratings approaching 60%. I think the most interesting question in this survey is how excited voters are to vote in November. And right now, they're not excited. The fuel behind this year's election is a widely held view that things are headed in the wrong direction. 62% of Michiganders believe the U.S. is on the wrong track. More than half of those polled believe Michigan is on the wrong track. What's on the right track? Would you believe Detroit? Outstate voters have their doubts, but most Metro Detroiters believe Detroit is moving up. But the fight remains bitter over its schools. About a third support the Senate plan for DPS, a little less support the House plan, but 40% don't like either. You're asking lawmakers to come up with a whole lot of money for a school district to buy things that perhaps their school districts don't have. That's a tough sell in election year. Yeah, a lot of people here on Mackinac Island hoping that they would see a breakthrough on DPS out of Lansing during these cu first couple of days of the conference. We'll see. Uh, of course, the governor is supporting the Senate plan, but our poll also shows that Governor Snyder right now has an unfavorability rating that has gone over 50 percent, which means that his ability to help on this issue may be limited. Stephen, Kimberly, back to you. Okay. Uh, well, Devin, what's on tap for tomorrow as the uh, conference kind of gets started here? number of things that we're going to be watching for. First off, a Q&A with Dan Gilbert. And of course, uh, always interesting to hear him talk about his, uh, the many things that are going on right now. Maybe he'll talk a little bit about the bid for Yahoo. Uh, might talk a little bit more about trying to bring soccer in as part of solving what's going on with the jail. But the other big issue, uh, of course, we heard today the Regional Transit Authority has finally announced its master blueprint for a regional transit plan in southeast Michigan. But it's going to cost about $3 billion in millage money. They are going to start trying to make their case towards that here tomorrow. We'll have the story for you tomorrow and throughout the week here from Mackinac Island. Back to you. Okay, we'll be looking forward to your reports uh, coming up tomorrow. Devin, we appreciate it.